Okay, so we proceed to case number 2. So, as case number 2 is k equal to 0. So, same thing, you start with x equation. So, just now you have the x equation um what we call it, x double prime, right? x double prime, blah, 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 and then equal, okay, x double prime over x equal to 0 lah, okay, equal to 0. So, you bring x to this side, you get x prime equal to 0. So, x double prime, sorry, x double prime, we will replace with m square equal to 0, m equal to plus minus 0, okay. So, therefore, this is real, repeated, real, this thing, this is real and repeated. Okay, real and repeated because plus 0 is 0, negative 0 also 0, so it's real and repeated. So, the equation for x here is c, jadi kita dah guna c1, c2, so c3, e power of 0x plus c4x, e power of 0x. Because it's really repeated, so they have extra x here. So, simplify, okay, simplify, this one is 0, this one is 0, so you have c3 plus c4x, okay. Then, like I said, before we proceed to the t equation, okay, before we proceed with the t equation, we need to find out the value for c3, c4 first by using, by using the boundary condition. Okay, so the first boundary condition is at 0, okay, at 0, so it means that you just substitute 0 into at, so you have only c3 and the boundary condition is equal to 0, so you already get the value for c3 is equal to zero so the second boundary condition is x prime so you need to differentiate first lah your x here oh, sorry here so you get c4 right differentiate this equation you get c4 so then you can substitute x1 and the answer also equal to c4 because the half doesn't have any x here we don't have any x here right so they have no variable that you need to substitute with 1 so the answer will remain C4 and this equation also equal to 0 ok, equal to 0 ok, where I get equal to 0 I get it from here ok, from here alright ok, so your C3, C4, 0 ok, so what we do next is substitute ok, substitute into this equation ok, you will get your all our zeros Okay, C3 0, C4 0. So, this means your x equation will be equal to 0. So, it's similar like the previous cases, case 1 number 1. So, you don't need to proceed with your t equation because of what? Because your n answer, because your final answer later on for case number 2, you will multiply x and t equation. So, now you already get your x is equation to 0. So, therefore, your case number 2 also will lead to 0. So, what we can say for this case, yeah, same like the previous cases, we will omit this case. We will omit this case. You don't need to proceed with the equation and so on. Just omit this case and then we we'll proceed to case number 3. Okay, we will proceed to case number 3. Okay. Okay, so focus on which I will continue in the next video.